Pluto is far away, difficult to find, and a less prominent planet that was once considered to belong to our solar system. Despite recent groundbreaking assertions from prominent astrophysicists like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku, Pluto has been brought back into public discussion. Really? They've suggested that this icy planet may be heading in the direction of a potential collision course with Neptune. But how can such a scenario be possible? And what would the consequences be of such a significant occasion? Are we observing something unusual and unpredictable? Or is there additional information about this impending cosmic disaster? Join us as we investigate the potential outcomes of Pluto's collision with Neptune. Pluto, which was once thought to be a planet but is now redefined as a dwarf planet, continues to be a subject of fascination and study within the vast universe. Recent leading experts' predictions have suggested that the orbit of Pluto is alarmingly close to Neptune's, prompting astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio. Kaku to let people know that a disastrous collision between these two celestial bodies has the potential to pose significant risk to Earth. But how could such a collision even occur? Pluto's orbit around the Sun, unlike that of any planet outside of our solar system, takes a staggering 248 years to complete one full orbit. Since its discovery in 1930, Pluto hasn't even finished a single complete revolution. But the level of intrigue does not end there. Pluto's orbit is distinguished by its distinct elliptical shape. Straying far from the nearly circular orbits of the major planets, what makes Pluto's orbit even more unusual is its tilt. Its orbit is inclined 17 degrees from the plane of the solar system. This gives Pluto's path a far more erratic trajectory compared with the more sequential orbits of the other planets. Complicating its orbital dynamics, could one of the most intriguing features of Pluto's orbit be where it comes? Into contact with Neptune's? Roughly every 20 years, Pluto actually gets closer to the Sun than Neptune does, cute defying the conventional expectation of their relative vantage points within the solar system. This raises the obvious question. Why have Pluto and Neptune not collided? The answer lies in the gravitational forces exerted by other planets. After Pluto's discovery, astronomers set out immediately to understand its strange orbital behavior. In contrast to the other planets, whose orbits are relatively close to the solar plane, Pluto's orbit is distinctive due to its steep inclination and highly irregular shape. As the puzzle became more complicated, it became clear that Pluto's orbit intersects Neptune's. Despite this, Pluto's orbit maintains its stability. Demonstrating the intricate dynamics of celestial mechanics, the so-called three-body problem in space, Comprehending how planets like Pluto and Neptune, as well as the Sun, interact gravitational ease. Key to this scenario, it's like trying to predict where these objects will be based on where they started and how they influence each other. The stability of all planetary orbits is ensured by the concept of non-concurrent libration. In the case of Pluto and Neptune, this means that whenever Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, the two bodies are always positioned at least 90 degrees apart. This spatial separation prevents a collision between them. Another contributing factor is orbital precession, which refers to the slow vertical movement of a planet's orbit. Pluto's orbit indicates that when it comes closest to Neptune or any giant planet, K, it is elevated significantly above their orbital plane, providing another layer of protection from potential collisions. An additional factor at play is the VSK, wobbling a concept named after three researchers, Zeldovich, Sitnikov, and Kozahu, studied how celestial bodies interact with one another's gravitational pull. This wobbling effect explains why, even though Pluto's orbit appears to be chaotic, it remains stable over long periods. The gravitational pull of Neptune and the Sun influences Pluto's orbit, ensuring it remains relatively smooth despite its irregular shape. The VSK wobbling shows that even in the most unpredictable environments, there are underlying patterns and forces that keep things in check.
Understanding this three-body problem is crucial to comprehending the nature and relationship of Pluto's orbit with respect to Neptune and the actions of distant solar system objects. Numerical simulations conducted in the late 1980s revealed that Pluto's orbit, despite the stabilizing forces at play, is actually quite erratic. Only a few minor initial conditions could lead to significant differences in its path over centuries. Nevertheless, these simulations also showed that Pluto's orbit maintains stability over very long timescales, such as millions or even billions of years. To fully comprehend the dynamics between Pluto and Neptune, it is important to consider the gravitational influence of the giant outer planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn. Neptune's influence is significant as it governs Pluto's orbit. In a special resonance, for every two orbits that Pluto completes around the Sun, Neptune completes three. This gravitational resonance helps to keep Pluto's orbit stable, but other planets also participate in this intricate equation. Additionally, Jupiter's enormous gravity plays a key role in stabilizing Pluto's path, while Saturn further contributes. To these dynamic forces, Working together, these forces ensure that Pluto remains on a steady course for potentially millions of years, preventing it from coming into harm's way with Neptune. Without these stabilizing forces, the solar system would be much more chaotic. With planets potentially colliding or being ejected from their orbits, causing catastrophic consequences across the solar system. The possibility of an upcoming collision with Neptune highlights the complexity of celestial mechanics and the significance of studying the stability of orbits. Comprehending these intricate dynamics results in a better understanding of how the solar system fulfills the gravitational forces and the behavior of distant objects. Even though Pluto's orbit may appear chaotic at first glance, it is a testament to the delicate balance of forces that hold it in place. Investigating space frequently produces unexpected discoveries. And Pluto's irregular orbit serves as a prime example of the mysteries of the cosmos. The concept of orbital chaos illustrates how a celestial body's orbit can be highly dependent. On its starting location, in Pluto's case, even minor modifications to its speed or position could significantly alter its long-term orbit. Automated simulations have proven invaluable in aiding scientists by modeling how Pluto and other objects like Neptune influence each other through their gravitational pull. Simulations demonstrate how even the smallest changes in the environment can have a significant impact on Pluto's trajectory, even though Pluto's orbit is kept stable by mechanisms like precession and wobbling. Simulations have also revealed that Pluto's orbit is far from consistent. Small deviations in its initial conditions can lead to vastly different outcomes, making predictions about its future movement extremely challenging. Despite this apparent chaos, Pluto's orbit remains relatively stable over geological durations, on the order of billions of years, suggesting that even in the midst of apparent chaos, there is an underlying control over Pluto's orbit around the Sun, predicting celestial movements, especially for objects with irregular orbits like Pluto, is a massive challenge. The inherent unpredictability of these systems signifies that any long-term forecasting is fraught with risk. Numerical models help us understand and anticipate these occurrences, but their preciseness is crucial to accuracy. Even a small error can result in vastly different outcomes, making it difficult to predict Pluto's future trajectory with confidence. Aside from the chaotic nature of planetary orbits, the story of Pluto serves as a reminder of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of the universe. Despite the many advances in our understanding of space, Pluto's case demonstrates how much we still have to learn. Grasping the gravitational influences of the giant planets on Pluto's orbit gives us important hints about the larger mechanics of the solar system, showing how the position of each planet can significantly affect the course and stability of others. Why do they stand out? Astrophysicists are raising concerns about a possible collision between Pluto and Neptune. Despite all of these, Neptune remains stable.
forces at work, according to Neil deGrasse Tyson, one of the leading astrophysicists, and figures responsible for Pluto's change of status from a planet to a dwarf planet, offer an insightful perspective on the unsolved problems of Pluto's orbit in our solar system's future. Tyson has played an important contribution to shaping the public's perception of Pluto and comprehending its position in the changing landscape of our solar system. Tyson views Pluto's reclassification as an important modification. Instead of a loss, based on our expanding knowledge of space, Tyson's approach to celestial bodies, celestial mechanics is one of constant discovery and development. He perceives the orbital complexities, like Pluto's, as indicative of how much more there is to learn about the universe, although Tyson remains optimistic about the study of space. His views on Pluto's potential collision with Neptune suggest that there are still many unanswered questions. Will Pluto collide with Neptune? Or is this merely a momentary confusion in a universe that is always changing? Only time and further research will offer the solutions. Right now, we are left with an even greater curiosity about how much remains, unknown in our own solar system. The potential for a Pluto-Neptune collision invites further examination of the mysteries of the universe and challenges our understanding of planetary dynamics. The prospect of two celestial bodies with vastly different properties colliding raises intriguing questions about how the solar system is shaped by gravitational interactions. A collision between Pluto and Neptune would not only have major implications for our understanding of planetary behavior, but would also provide valuable insights into the solar system's evolution as a whole. To comprehend the dynamics of a possible collision between Pluto and Neptune, you must take into account the characteristics of both planets. Pluto, despite its designation as a dwarf planet, includes a variety of components and compounds that have frozen due to the icy outer solar system's extreme cold. This substance covers its surface. The atmosphere surrounding nitrogen ice is primarily composed of methane, nitrogen, and carbon monoxide. In contrast, Neptune, a massive gas giant, primarily consists of hydrogen, helium, and other lighter elements, with a deep, dense atmosphere. A collision between these two vastly different bodies would, no doubt, have profound effects on both planets, conceivably triggering an event that could be seen from vast cosmic distances. However, it's important to note that Neptune's gravity is not the only stabilizing force at play. Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system, also possesses a substantial gravitational pull contributing to Pluto's stable orbit and preventing it from venturing too close to Saturn's domain. Neptune's gravitational influence further complicates the interactions in the outer solar system, making it unlikely that a devastating collision between Pluto and Neptune will occur, while Neptune's gravitational influence plays a significant part in maintaining Pluto's orbit. The complex relationships between other planets, such as Jupiter and Saturn, further ensure that Pluto's path remains steady. But other studies have also shown that the relationship between Pluto and Neptune is not as straightforward as a potential collision course. The gravitational resonance between the two planets, or Pluto completes two orbits every three Neptune accomplishments, creates a natural barrier that prevents them from colliding. This resonance, often described as a gravitational dance, ensures that Pluto and Neptune's orbits, while intersecting, never result in a collision. This mechanism is a remarkable illustration of how celestial bodies maintain a harmonious relationship, despite the chaotic forces at work in space. However, this delicate equilibrium is not guaranteed in the future. Changes in the positions or velocities of these planets could disrupt this resonance and lead to unpredictable consequences. These changes could be sparked by external forces, like the gravitational influence of an undiscovered planet or a passing star, or by internal events such as tidal forces that are gradually altering the orbits of these bodies. More research, as well as observing Pluto, Neptune, and the surrounding bodies in the outer solar system. 
it's essential for understanding the long-term stability of their interactions. As technology advances, scientists will be able to refine their models and gain a clearer understanding of the dynamics between these distant objects. New data may shed light on the delicate balance that keeps Pluto and Neptune from colliding, or it might reveal entirely new forces that could alter their relationship in the future. As we continue to study the dynamics of Pluto and Neptune, one key factor that has emerged is the possibility of an undiscovered object influencing their time. I'm like Papater influencing their orbits. This hypothetical object, often referred to as Planet Nine, is believed to exist in the far reaches of the solar system. Some scientists have speculated that its gravitational pull could alter the planet's orbits like Pluto's potentially pushing them toward new paths that might destabilize their current positions. While the existence of Planet Nine is still a subject of debate, its potential impact raises the stakes even higher, adding complexity to the situation. In addition to the gravitational interactions between planets, it's important to think about the bigger picture context of how the solar system itself is evolving. The Sun, being the dominant gravitational force in the system, is gradually losing mass through the process of solar wind. As the Sun loses mass, the orbits of all the planets, including Pluto and Neptune, could slowly expand over time. This process could change their relative positions and affect the long-term stability of their orbital resonance. Furthermore, the outer solar system is not a static place. Comets and other small bodies are constantly passing through, exerting their own gravitational forces. These passing objects could occasionally perturb distant planets' orbits, including Pluto's. Though such events would be rare and unpredictable, the combined result of these diverse forces may ensure that Pluto's orbit continues to be dynamic, constantly adjusting in response to the gravitational dance that occurs between the planets.